If you are going to keep an eye on earnings for just one week this quarter, it will be this week with a host of US technology companies reporting Q1 earnings. Here are seven earnings reports to watch this week. Tesla has been on a parabolic run prior to 2021 and is expected to announce Q1 earnings on Monday after the market close. At its current price of 7.29 per share, the stock trades at around 172 times estimated 2021 earnings and about 14 times 2021 revenues. So from a valuation standpoint, it is definitely an expensive stock at the moment, which is probably why we saw a 38.2% retracement from its peak of $900 to around $583 during the first few months of 2021. However, at this point, Tesla is a momentum play and we saw buyers coming in at its 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level in early March and April. We have since started to make higher highs and higher lows on the daily time frame chart and is currently trading above structure highs so that's definitely buying momentum going into Monday's earnings. The 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of this recent swing down is holding price down below 762.53, which will be an important level to watch come Monday. 762.53 is going to be an important market fulcrum and I expect price to trade within a range going into the earnings call. Consensus EPS estimate is 0.77 and revenue estimate is 10.34 billion, gross margins to come in at around 24.3%. Note that Tesla reported 184.8k deliveries in Q1 versus the 168k estimate. So Wall Street will definitely be expecting a strong earnings beat. If Wall Street likes and respond positively to Q1 earnings, Tesla will likely gap up and break above the 762.53 level. And if we do, I expect a move towards the 1029 area. If we have any downside surprises and the market react negatively to what should otherwise be good earnings, we could see a quick move down to retest the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level where I expect buying support. 557.75 will also be an interesting level to watch if we manage to trade it, which is importantly a retest of its 200-day moving average. So in conclusion, three technical levels to watch on Monday going into Tesla's earnings. The biggest big tech winner in 2021 so far has been Alphabet stock, rallying 30% so far this year. Alphabet's year-to-date rally has likely been driven by the steady recovery in online advertising, which should come as no surprise given how the pandemic and worldwide government lockdowns have changed the way we all do business. If you are already in the stock, I would not be in a hurry to sell until we hit Fibonacci expansion levels at 2570.93 and 2703.52. Microsoft earnings next week matter to the market because the company is the second most valuable in the world. That said, it's unlikely the report will provide much in the way of surprises. The company hasn't missed Wall Street profit estimates in five years. And at 31 times forward earnings, Microsoft stock is as expensive as it's ever been during this rally and the reaction of Microsoft stock to earnings might come down to whether the investors are willing to still pay more. Going to the charts, Microsoft has definitely been trending higher and recently on the daily time frame chart, it has continued to make higher highs and higher lows. And this trend should continue at least until we hit higher time frame resistance at 283.42 and 287.41. After being one of the market's best stocks for the five years after its 2015 initial public offering, shares now have been flat for about nine months. At 46 times revenue and 222 times forward earnings, the pullback hasn't exactly made this stock cheap. However, we know Shopify is going to post impressive growth on Wednesday and what we don't know is how the market will react.
What we do know is that Shopify is currently sitting at its 200 day moving average and have recently made a higher high on the daily time frame chart. If Shopify continues to trade above its 200 day moving average, price should eventually trade higher from here. My current bias is for us to retest the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level and if we can then trade back above its 200 MA, it should be a strong buy signal. If we trade below both its 200 moving average and the daily F3 node, breaking below recent structure lows should send the stock much lower. Given that just about a year ago, Shopify has had a big reaction of its 200 day MA, it is fair to say that this time round, it will have a big say for where we will trade from here as well. We know the digital advertising market is growing nicely at the moment and we know competitors are taking aim at Facebook's market share and Facebook certainly is cheap enough that a big quarter can lead to new highs. After twice trading off the monthly XOP resistance node, Facebook is staying above important structure highs. If Facebook continue to do so, then we should continue trading higher from here until we hit higher time frame resistance at 324.09. Trading back below market structure could see us retest its 200 moving average at around 274 and a break below its 200 MA and structure lows would indicate lower prices to come in the near term. Like some other big tech names, Apple stock has been flat for some time and it now trades below early September highs. Apple's services growth continues to impress, but a 2.2 trillion market cap and 28 times forward earnings multiple both priced in impressive growth. Because I'm seeing a specific price pattern developing on the daily chart, my current bias is for Apple to trade higher from here and make new highs towards 150.17. Investors know what Amazon is and they've digested the impacts of the coronavirus pandemic and the exit of founder Jeff Bezos from the chief executive officer role. The continuing growth of e-commerce more broadly is a foregone conclusion. Certainly, Amazon stock has rallied into the report but like Apple, it's still below September highs and only up a market lagging 1.6% so far in 2021. If the overall equity markets remain strong by Thursday, there's no reason why Amazon could not continue on its impressive run. If market weakness in the broader market develops, a break back below its 200 MA could be the cue to sell. Looking at how the charts are set up on these tech companies, all of which are trading above their 200 day moving averages, trading above key support levels, with market structure suggesting that the trend for higher highs and higher lows will continue. Things are looking bullish going into this week's earnings. The fact that the bulk of these companies reporting earnings are beneficiaries of the pandemic sh should be taken into consideration. As we head into earnings week, it is important to also look at how the equity indices trade as they can give us early indication and clues to how equity markets will trade in general. If the Dow Jones Industrial Average and ES futures trade higher, likely that the broader equity markets will trade higher as well. We will take a closer look at that in the next video, so you might want to check it out to see how we can use this to gain an edge over the markets.